guys, Ashley here. Today I am here to bring you the Book Lovers Survival Day. Woo! Mm. Mm. Survival. Survival. This tag itself was actually created by Penguin Teen in honor of the release of A Map for Wreck Girls by Jessica Taylor, which comes out August 15th, which surrounds a story about two sisters who were once really close and then something wrecked them apart, so they get stuck on an island with a boy with no way to escape. It sounds right up my alley, so I'm excited to read it when it does come out. Thank you to the lovely Naya from Naya Reads and Smiles. She tagged me in this video, and basically this tag just wants me to pick six books that you want to take on with you to an island if you were trapped there. What books are you going to read for the rest of your life and you die on that island? Maybe you'll leave, but what books will you take with you? Who knows? Let's go. Alright, so the first book I picked, I did some research and watched some other booktubers tags and they were all smart and chose, you know, books that were having to do with survival or that help them with survival, but screw that, I don't got that. The first book I chose kind of has to do with survival. It is the Lifeboat Click by Kathy Bates and this one revolves around a girl and her senior class of high school and a tsunami hits them and they get kind of stranded on an island. Yeah, very funny, very comical, and I thought, you know, if I'm stuck on the island, why not read about a book where a girl is also stuck on the island so she can share my misery with me. Mm -hmm. The second book I picked, of course, I had to pick one of my all-time favorites in the contemporary romance genre, and that is going to be Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. And yes, I know this is an older title. It's very cliche romance. It's about a girl named Anna, duh. And she gets shipped off to boarding school in France where she meets a boy, Etienne. I'm not French, but I'm imagining that sounds really cool with a French accent, Etienne. I don't know. Anyway, she meets a boy, Etienne, and he has a girlfriend, but she has the feels, you know, all that cliche drama stuff, but I really just love this, guys. It's an oldie, it's a goodie, and I just really love this book, and it's super cute, and if I'm on an island, I want to feel the feels when I'm starving. So, Anna and the French Kiss. The next book I picked, which I don't really know why I picked, because I figured if I'm on an island, I'm probably going to be pretty miserable and sad and on the brink of death, almost hopeless. So I'm like, why not bring a book that will also just make me feel those emotions 10 times fold? <laughs> so I picked Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis. This one follows a girl and her family and they're when they're taken from their home and transported to Siberia. It takes place in the 1940s during the war, all that stuff. So you know, it's a pretty hard, heavy read. I cried a little bit while reading this. You know, so this is kind of a horrible pick, but I'm going to be feeling horrible, so let me just make, make me feel more horrible by reading horrible books. Horrible in the, this is a really horrible situation they're in, it's really shitty, not a horrible book. It's a fantastic book, and I believe it's also becoming a movie pretty soon. It's kind of like eating your feelings. When you're sad, you want to just sit there and eat ice cream on the couch. So I'm on my island, I'm sad, I want to sit there and read a sad book. You know? You know? The next book I picked... I'm trying not to pick like all my favorites to be cliche, but you know, you know your girl has to pick this. If you watch me, you know I love this woman. I love her books. I love her series. Of course, I'm going to bring A Court of Mist and Fury with me. Obviously, if I'm on an island, I'll probably get through books fairly fast since I'm bored and there's nothing to do. So obviously, I'm going to bring A Court of Mist and Fury because you know your girl could read this a million times and never get over it. Because these characters, these plot, this smut, this everything, action, adventure, romance, everything. Reese. My book boyfriend cannot live without him. So you know you gotta bring him on the island when you're alone and you want that Reese time. Ya you know, ya you know. If you didn't know, this is the second um, book in the A Court of Thorns and Rosen series. If you don't know that, where you been? Pick this up. This is amazing. I need it when I'm on an island. Yeah. The next book I'm gonna have to bring is a childhood favorite, favorite in the series of all time. Of course, I have a little bit of my childhood with me if I'm on an island. So of course, that book is going to be Harry Potter and the Prisoner Ask a Man by J.K. Rowling. Duh, I'm going to bring this. Duh, I need Harry Potter in my life. If you know me at all, I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. I have like four copies of the whole complete series, just in different editions. So you know, Prisoner of Ask a Man is my favorite. It's when you meet Sirius, and I love Sirius, so... Duh, I'm bringing this on the island with me. HP in my life. Forever. 
until I die on the island. <laughs> the final book I decided to bring with me, which I've mentioned before in a graphic novels recommendation video, and that is Uzumaki. This is like a Mongo style graphic novel, sort of. And so it has lots of pictures. It's very long. It follows a small town and how the idea of a spiral takes over their mind, their psych, everything. It's crazy, it's a horror, it's just insane, insane. I've only read it once, so I know it's one that I can definitely read over and over and I'll just probably discover all these new things when I read it, because it's just really psychologically freaky and it's just freaky. And look at this, that's, that's just terrifying and freaky. And again, you know, on an island by myself, probably gonna be a little scared and terrified in the night like Tom Hanks in The Castaway or Lord of the Flies. Thinking of all these horrible stranded on an island scenarios, I'm like, hey, I'm gonna be scared. Let me just make myself scared or is that word scared or more frightened with a terrible book like Uzumaki. Yeah. All right, guys, that has been my book lover survival tag. I didn't really have any like method to my madness in picking these books at all. I just picked ones that I thought would make me feel nice and or make me feel worse in that case. Now it's time to tag some peeps. I want to see you do this challenge because I'm, I'm interested to see what kind of books you guys would bring. What books would you bring if you were on Island Stranded? So I'm going to tag and I'm going to list all these people below. You should check them out. They're awesome. My peeps, they super cool. Check it out. So the first person I'm going to tag is Natalie from Honey Books. I want to see you do this challenge. Tag, tag, tag. Do it. Okay. Second person I'm going to tag is Brandon from Brandon the Book Addict. Let me see what you got, boy. Let me see what books you're going to bring. Mm. All right. The next person, Jared from Jared Owns. I want to see you bring some books. Let's see your picks. I want to see them tagging you. Tag, tag, tag. All right. And the last one I'm going to pick is Haley from These Book Lions. Uh, I love her channel. She is so great. You should check her out. Girl, I want to see the books you're going to bring on the island with you. Let's see them. Let's see them. Woo! All right, guys. That has been the Book Lover Survival Tag. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like in the down below if you did. And don't forget to subscribe. And hey, comment down below if you were stuck on an island, what is a book that you would bring with you? I, you know, there's so many to choose from, and I honestly had a really tough time picking this. I just kind of sat in front of my bookshelf, and I was like, what do I bring with me? This is like picking my favorite children. I don't know what to bring. Heck. All right, my guys, my name is Ashley. This is Ashley Page. Thank you for watching. Bye. Thank you.